Welcome to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Filling in for Dave Palumbo, I'm Sadiq Faruqi. It's Friday, September 22nd, 2016. Let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. There's only one man who's going to walk away from the classic physique Olympia with his name in the history books as the division's first ever champ. And Sadiq Hanzevic wants to be that man. This week, new training footage of Sadiq surfaced less than three weeks away from his season debut where he's going to have the weight of 365 straight days of rising expectations slapped on his shoulders. After being dubbed the preseason King of Classic and taking the entire early part of the year to focus on his prep, Sadiq might actually be coming into this show with more pressure on him than any other athlete in Classic Physique. But if there's anything we've learned about Sadiq Hanzevic over the years, it's this. When the stakes are at their highest and the lights are at their brightest, he always seems to rise to the occasion. Parody is one of those things that made competition so exciting. And you don't get much more parody in bodybuilding than what we have going on in the 212 division right now. From top to bottom, the 212 is absolutely loaded with never-ending stream of high-level talent, not the least of which is our very old friend, Charles Dixon. Less than three weeks out from making his fifth career trip to the Olympia stage, the tank might already be at his all-time best, which is scary considering his seventh place finish at last year's contest. With another few weeks left to keep fine-tuning the machinery, I'm all but certain we're going to get the best version of Charles Dixon that we have ever seen. And I think this year, he has a real shot of ending up scoring a top five finish. Speaking of the 212 Olympia, if there's one guy out there who can come in and upset the apple cart, we think it might be rookie pro extraordinaire Ahmed Ashkenani. A few weeks ago, we predicted the former Arnold Amateur winner would be a force to be reckoned with at the Tampa Pro, and boy, did he ever deliver. Ashkenani came in and dominated a lineup full of deep veteran talent on his way to coasting to an easy win and putting the rest of the 212 division on notice. When he's on his game, Ashkenani gets into that crazy oxygen gym level of conditioning that we flat just do not see very often. And when you factor in how complete he is from front to back, it isn't hard to imagine a scenario where we see the newcomer rip off a top five finish on his way to leaving a few well-known veterans trailing in his wake. Assuming he comes in and hits the mark, there might be a real chance that Ahmed Ashkenani winds up in the first call out where he'll have a shot to really step up and steal the show. The race for the figure Olympia crown is starting to reach critical mass, but I don't think that's going to bother the incomparable Candice Lewis one bit. Only a few weeks after making her annual pilgrimage to the Olympia stage, one of the true superstars in the figure division still looks like she's cooler than the other side of the pillow. Some new training footage shows a spectacular looking Lewis carving in a few last minute details with the light night back training session as she enters into the home stretch of her contest prep. Lewis has finished third in each of the last two Olympias and given that we haven't seen her hit the stage since last March, You'd have to think that a well-rested Candice Lewis is going to give reigning champ Latoria Watts all she can handle. If she can hit her mark at 100%, she's one of the only competitors in the lineup who has a legitimate shot at being able to come in and steal the win. Candice Lewis might have her eyes set on the prize, but the reality is all roads in the figure division run through the unstoppable force that is reigning and defending champion Latoria Watts. Just in case there were any lingering doubts about who the real queen of figure was, following her upset victory over Nicole Wilkins, Watt came into the Arnold Classic with a shotgun and shovel, effectively burying anyone in her path. Now, with less than three weeks to go, this is the time when she's going to start cementing her legacy Will she bring home another title and start carving out her own space in the record books? Or will she end up falling to a refocused Nicole Wilkins and a surging Candice Lewis? History is written by the victors and I guess when the smoke finally clears, we'll see who's the one left holding the pen. And that does it for yet another episode of Muscle in the Morning brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Visit IronMagLabs.com today. 
Filling in for Dave Palumbo, I'm Sadiq Baruki, reminding you to keep it locked to rsmuscle.com, the Muscle Central Forum, and our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Have a great day.